Hey guys, today what we're discussing is uh, enrolling your uh, corporate PCs, your domain joint corporate PCs into Intune or Endpoint Management silently without user, user intervention. Now why is this is uh, a good idea? If you have 7, 10 or 11 users, you can simply go and connect them from the work or school manually, but if you have 100 a thousand or ten thousand employees that's a lot of effort and you know it takes long long time to achieve so microsoft has a way of enrolling those pcs silently uh into intune without the user intervention we're gonna go over it in this video so the first thing you need to do is to have your intune tenant configured now if you are uh, there are basic configurations for your, your intune to be uh, able to uh enroll pcs in it if you need help with that, I do have a video, a short video that explains what the basic uh, configurations that, that are needed for this. I'll leave a link in the description below for it. You also, the assumption is you already have AD Connect installed and syncing your PCs to, to, to Azure. Now, uh, a lot of companies without, it, before even enrolling in Intune, they sync their machines to Azure and uh, the, uh, the machine appears as Azure AD registered. Now, whether you're currently syncing them or not, it doesn't really matter. In my lab, I am not syncing the PCs right now, but if you're syncing them again, they appear as Azure AD registered and that's not a problem. Uh, also, the assumption that, uh, is that users in your, co in, in your company have the correct licensing assigned to them. They have to have an Intune license or a license that covers Intune. Your domain controllers would have to be a 2012 R2 or higher. Uh, if you're still at 2012 R2, by the way, the end of life is uh, coming soon. If you need to, if you need help upgrading them, I also have a video that shows you how to uh, promote your your domain controllers to a newer version to 2022 and I'll, I'll leave a link in the description as well below. Uh, if you do have conditional access for multi-factor authentication, which most companies do, I will show you how to exclude Intune enrollment and simply because Intune enrollment, if it's gonna happen silently and MFA is enabled, there's no user to actually enter that MFA so it's gonna error out. So you need to exclude that for this to happen. We will reconfigure the uh, AD Connect in order to hybrid join the domain joint PCs on premise to Azure. Instead of making them Azure registered, they will be Azure hybrid registered. So the machine would be basically joined to your on premise domain and to, to, uh, to Azure AD domain as hybrid. And uh, just a quick point, if you do have them already synced and they show as Azure AD registered right now, once we reconfigure, you will see two machines for the two names for the same machine in Azure. One is called Azure Hybrid AD, Hybrid Joint, and one is called Azure AD registered. And eventually they consolidate into one machine, which is Azure Hybrid, uh, hybrid Joint. So don't panic if you see two uh, PCs in Azure. And the last thing we're gonna do is uh, create a group policy to enroll those PCs silently and we're gonna take a look at it. So let's get to it. So here is my uh, Azure tenant. I'm gonna go to Active Directory just to show you what devices I have. So currently under devices, I have zero devices. I don't have anything in here. Now I do have Azure AD Connect and it's syncing users cur currently. And uh, what I wanna do, here's my domain controller. I have this PC, which is called LT Test PC. It is currently in this OU that is not syncing. And again, if you're syncing your PCs, that's fine. I just wanted to start it from scratch for people that are not doing it right now. My AD Connect is actually syncing this OU, so I'm just gonna move this PC into this OU so it would sync. Okay, so at this point, we need to create the group policy that would basically uh, create the enrollment. So we go to group policies here. 
and it depends where you want to have it i'm going to create it and link it to uh, this ou which i'm thinking my pc is from if you have multiple ou's you can link it to the multiple ou's so i'm going to create a new one and just maybe call it intune auto enrollment auto enroll and now i'm just gonna edit this policy go to policies administrative templates windows components and i'm gonna go to mdm as you can see i have two policies here this is the newer one the new admx file and this is the older one now it doesn't matter what you have but if you have the, the old one you can install the new ones by searching on Google for uh, download ADMX files. If you uh, have the old one, you just simply double click it and disable it. As you can see, if you disable this policy, MDM enrollment will be enabled for all users. I'm gonna go ahead and configure the newer one. And as you can see here, it's a different story. If you enable this policy, the task is created to initiate enrollment. So I'm gonna enable it. And I'm going to use user credentials so when the user logs in, they get automatically registered. So it, it is enabled now. And I'm going to go to device registration and simply enable the registration of devices in Azure. And now I'm going to go and uh, reconfigure Azure AD Connect for hybrid join. And I, what I'm trying to do is have Azure receive the PC as a domain joined on premise and then join hi, hi, hybrid join it to uh, to uh, azure so this is my ad connect i'm going to go to configure device options next and as you can see here's the hybrid azure ad join so i'm going to go to it i'm going to put my put my password And that's what we want to configure hybrid Azure AD join. I'm going to click next. I'm going to choose Windows 10 or later domain joint devices. And that's domain, our on premise domain. I say next. And here I'm going to basically choose my domain. And uh, the authentication is Azure Active Directory. I'm just going to add my local domain admin account here on my domain controller for, for this to, uh, to uh, access it. And basically it's done now. Uh, we just, we don't have to do anything here. Just say next and next, configure it. And you'd have to wait some time. Uh, now those PCs that will be uh, joining the domain they will have to be online. So if a PC is not online, it's not gonna be uh, auto-enrolled and in tune or joined to Azure AD. And when they are online, it takes them some time to, uh, to uh, you know, discover those SCPs. So, you know, I'll give it a few hours or to the next day or something. And I'm just gonna hit configure here and wait for it to uh, get done. And that's it, it's successful, I'm gonna exit out. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna wait a little and then come back once this is uh, you know picked up. What I do wanna show you here while we're here is I do have a Windows 10 machine, which is uh, wh what I show you, what I showed you in my domain controller. And that's the name and that's the one we're gonna be syncing. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, force the synchronization so this pc can be synced to azure and that's only when i come back now while we're waiting for this please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this all right so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, start the sync you do not have to do this as uh, if you have uh, azure ad connect running it, by default it syncs every 30 30 minutes i just wanted to uh, force it so it would uh, do it quicker so now if we go to uh, my devices in Azure here and I refresh, it's still not syncing. Let's uh, just wait a little. I'm gonna pause and come back when it syncs, when it's complete. Okay, so um, 
here's my PC, as you can see, and uh, it's the join type is hybrid Azure AD join. And again, and uh, if you did have your PC here joined to uh, Azure AD, and it says here Azure AD registered, you will see another machine just like this one with Azure AD joined with hybrid, and then they will consolidate. So you just leave them for a day or two. As you can see, the registration is pending here. It doesn't really matter. It takes sometimes hours or a day or two. Eventually, it'll say registered. As you can see, MDM here is uh, saying nothing. And if I go to my MDM and look at any registered devices here, I have nothing. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to uh, conditional access policies and that's to uh, basically uh, exclude into an enrollment from from uh, into an enroll from from uh, MFA so the the process happens smoothly so if I go to uh, conditional access here if I go to my policies here's my policy I have it on off, but you can turn, you know, in your case, maybe it's on, I'll, I'll turn it on. And what we want to do here is uh, a lot of companies have all cloud apps targeted by MFA. And what I want to do here is just say exclude. And I'm going to say Intune enrollment, and that's the one we want to exclude. Okay, so I checked on it about five hours later and it wasn't done. It wasn't completed and now this is the next day and as you can see it's actually uh, done it's hybrid Azure AD joined and the MDM is Microsoft Intune and if we go to uh, endpoint manager if we go to devices As you can see, this is the PC, and it's an Intune, and it's compliant, and it's registered, and this is, uh, you know, the next day. So uh, that concludes this uh, this uh, episode or this video. Basically, this is if you have a, a a PC or a thousand PCs in that OU or several OUs where you applied your uh, group policy, this would sync and eventually would appear in Azure and would be joined and then you can manage the PC as you would always manage it in Intune. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit that uh, like and subscribe button and see you in the next video.